Alrighty, let's go ahead and get right into game one. This could be a button check. Nope, not a button check. This is it right here. Cancer is fundamentals getting ready to face off against Skills and Atlas, and these guys taking it to Smashville. <laughs> yep, let's do it, man. Yep, so Skilder and Atlas face off against Cancerous Fundamentals, so that is uh, Nev and Quaz. Quaz pretty good in singles, um, equally as good in doubles as well. But the issue is with Little Max sometimes you don't, you can't really get a lot of team follow-ups. You know, that was good right there where uh, Villager took away uh, Little Max KO punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. He was looking for an opportunity to get it off of Mewtwo's grab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, Quaz is always looking for those little small windows of opportunity to throw the KO punch out, man. And why not, man? It's doubles. It's a lot easier to hit somebody. You know? Oh, yeah. You, you, you throw something, you're going to hit a person. It might be a teammate or it could be the opponent. Who knows? All right, so Atlas, the thorn in Mewtwo's side right now. Toss him. Clear off stage, but eats a forward tilt from Little Mac in the process. Not a good way to provide yourself some coverage. Something interesting when you're looking at their uh, team comp is uh, Mewtwo seems to be taking the front line instead of Little Mac, which is a strange combination, but it seems to be working for him pretty well. Yeah, pretty much Mewtwo controlling all aspects of the air. Obviously, Mac keeping his feet planted on the ground, staying center stage. Cody, Skilliger, not allowing him to stay center stage anymore, using his forward airs to get him off stage, and unfortunately, that is a dead Little Mac as Nev gets there at the last second to try to save him. Sadly, it was not, so... That's kind of the life you choose when you team with the Little Mac. But stocks are still even for the most part. Percentages, not so much. Mewtwo nearing death here pretty soon. 147%. Oh! Down tilt into what would have been down smash. Finds a way to sneak in an up air, though. Thought we patched that. <laughs> did, did we not patch that? I thought I could have swore we patched that. I'm pretty sure we patched that. Yeah, because, that, <laughs> yeah, wow. That was a stuff of nightmares about a year ago. Oh. Tries to get the runoff spike right. Oh my Ooh. goodness! Reverses the bowling ball, but unfortunately kills himself in the process. Very, very solid gameplay from LTL now. One punch has the KO punch up again. There oh it is. My God, that is a dead villager. Now we should see a share stock right away. Yep, there it is, and we have ourselves an even game here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Little Max got a high percent, so uh, they might try and gain up on him. Yeah, they did. They tried to both go for him out there off stage, but use this Joel Haymaker finds his way to get back to the ledge. <coughs> Uh-oh. <coughs> wow, the nice follow from Atlas here. Saves his jump. Good job. Nev right there giving him some coverage. Atlas finding his way back. That is a dead little Mac, and unfortunately, Nev stuck in a 2v1 situation here. Yeah, Villager had the uh, double turn up right there, which gave him enough uh, horizontal launching power to get him off the stage. That it did. Nev and Skills are both trying to spike each other off the stage there. I definitely understand why Nev's trying to. I mean, he gets that extended hitbox because of those balloons, possibly. Oh, so he should probably be a little more cautious throwing out that forward smash off the ledge. I mean, side special is a recovery option for new too, but it also sends projectiles in the other direction, so. He's uh, trying to bait out for uh, Shadow Claw because he can get a lot of damage and possibly launch potential off the Shadow Claw. Mm -hmm. That is. Ooh. Wow. Again with the two turnips. Mm -hmm. Wow, the two turnips giving him that little extra oomph that he needed, man, to get Mewtwo out of here. But Mewtwo, anyway, he's a lighter character. Second lightest character in the game, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, big two is an easy target. Yup. It's not an easy life for Mewtwo in doubles, I'll tell you that. I don't know how some of these top Mewtwo's do it, because I play Mewtwo in singles, and I got a hard enough time winning. So in doubles, oh, I'm yeah. like, man, everybody's just all over the place. Well, it gets it gets even crazier. Uh, not not to bag not to bag on our Mewtwo here, Nev, but uh, there's uh, some tech you can do with Mewtwo where you can actually uh, use his neutral air mm -hmm. footstool into disable, mm -hmm. and then slam him with anything you want. Infinite, it's a man. crazy combo. Yeah, man. Mewtwo, the, the meta is ever shifting for him. Nope. Each tournament, man, I'm seeing more and more just high-level Mewtwo gameplay. I'm like, well, I didn't even know you could do that. It's looking more and more like Project Them Mewtwo by the day. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. We're going to town and city, man. Stays with a bit more room. 
platforms at times, so the red team can kind of avoid Mac if they need to. Also, we have lower ceilings, so I expect to see some three turn up up airs. Uh, of course, quads and that little Mac, you get some very quick kills off the top. Oh, oh. Tail punch is ready to oh, go. Oh, wow. Most unfortunate. I think he might got caught in a buffer. <coughs> I think me. I think that's what it was. It looked like he was in a jab, mm -hmm. and then he tried to uh, get out of it and just buffered it by accident. Oh, man, that sucks so much. Oh, tries to take Cody out clear off the top, looking like Bayonetta right now with that up special. <laughs> okay, there's one stop. There going. we go. Wow, and there's two in the red team right now. In the slight deficit here, you have got to figure out what you're going to do versus uh versus me too here i know it's not the easiest thing in the book to fight him oh wow oh boy comboed yeah. off of uh one punch's accidental mishap there on me too mm -hmm. wow and just as quick as they were winning wow they're losing most unfortunate man for quads but that's kind of the life you choose when you play little mac i mean the stage is just right there and you're like man maybe if i could just extend a little further i can get it but i mean jolt, Ho jolt haymaker excuse me only goes so far Okay, getting a few up tilt snuck in there on my man Skillager. Trying to get those cookie cutter quads combos. Cookie cutter quads combos. I <laughs> say that five times fast. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> okay. So we got Atlas down on the ledge here with a KO punch charge. Let's see how this goes. Mm -hmm. And it's gone. And Villager can take that away so easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Villager just that nice shield pressure from across the room and it's it's not easy to deal with him. He just builds that up the wall good, so uh, big. Oh, my God. That was God. a good shadow ball there. Used it to go through Villager's projectile. Mm -hmm. Take him out. That's pretty nice. Oh, my God. And Mewtwo is just completely getting picked apart here. And I like this little process after going for it. They're knocking Mac far, far away off stage because they know that it's, it's going to take a while for them to try to come back. In the meantime, they're just going to hit Mewtwo with that wonderful 2v1 work. Mewtwo is such an easy target. And, I mean, literally a grab right in the Diddy Kong. Econ can do pretty much whatever he wants to in a 2v1. All right, we've got the KO Punch Torch again. Lost it one more time. Share stock right away. Down one stock. Yeah. They have a uh, pretty high percent lead, though, and with Little Max launching power, they could easily capitalize on it. Oh, absolutely. If given the opportunity right now, they're being comboed. Playing very cautious, and I like that. Okay, there's a down smash taking, uh, not quite taking out Skildra as he reaches 123%. Got KO up again. Oh, and just like that, the KO is gone. Gets the down tilt in the forward throw there. Quaz does save his jump. Jolt Haymaker's back towards the stage. Very good job. And like I said, man, they just they get Quaz out of the picture, and then they just jump Mewtwo, and that's exactly what happened here. And that back throw off of Villager, it's such a deadly move off of such a horrible grab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That it is. Down, tilt, into back air. Very, very solid job. Wow. How wonderful. Yeah, their team composition seems to work really well. Um, Villager's really good at uh, building up walls, and mm -hmm. Diddy's really good at getting in there and keeping people comboed. Mm -hmm. And with the distraction of the wall there, they can't escape Diddy yeah. because it forces them to stay with him. Mm -hmm. And of course, teaming with the Diddy Kong or teaming with the Villager, team combos are always going to be a thing. Like, you know, oh, yeah. I knock you in the Villager, Villager nares you, you know, I can do something mm -hmm. like They're very good like, 2v1 uh, character. So, yeah, we'll sim see. similar to Cloud in that aspect. He's really yeah. good at stringing off of what your ally does. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and get right to this next match here, man. Game three. We're here. Three up tilts right off the bat from you, too. Yep. <laughs> Wait, how, how far are we in bracket? This is game three already? Holy crap, didn't realize we were that far into bracket. Wow, good job to the TOs here at this event. Oh yeah. Yeah, Boneless and Noel and the rest of the GameCast staff, these guys have always been amazing. So we will definitely be back if they'll have us. But regardless, here on Battlefield right now, we've got some big blast zone. So I expect to see Mac to get thrown off stage here. I know that just two Shadow Claws in a row. That yeah, was nice. Yeah, man, it's so crazy. Shadow Claw just strings into more Shadow Claws. Like, it's just not the funnest thing. itself. That it does. Oh, I like how you try to get the runoff near on Atlas. Atlas not having any of that recovering low, finding his footing back on the stage here. Shadow Claw. 
Oh, wow, the nice team synergy. And it's so hard teaming with the Mac because you don't really get the follow-ups you're looking for. You have to get a character that can kind of back throw into a smash attack of Little Mac's. But Little Mac there with the nice up special catch. KO Punch is up, and we'll see if we can utilize it. Maybe as a recovery option? Oh, most unfortunate. He should have just let his teammate hit him, but he decided to hit his teammate instead. Maybe he wanted him to not worry about bringing him back. Maybe he wanted maybe, him to get maybe back a little to miscommunication there. Possibly. Possibly. The bring life it. of Mac is not easy. Yeah, it'd be easier for Mewtwo to bring it back to the stage if uh, Mewtwo's up, up special wasn't a teleport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, he might have been able to grab him with neutral air, maybe? Possibly, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Kale Punch is almost charged. We're gonna see if we can get a get a kill out of it this time. You have to make sure every attack that you throw counts versus Little Mac. Because if, if you don't, then things just become really, really ugly for you. Oh yeah. You never don't, you don't never trade punches with Mac. Yeah, don't don't chip at him. If you chip at him, that's gonna give him a KO. Oh no, we out. Oh, it saves his life, but then as quickly as life is saved, it's taken. Oh, and oh, Nev, of course, oh, he takes his life. It and resulted in two kills there. Oh, wow. Nev going a little to too save. low. Yeah. Lost him another stock. I was really hoping to see him use uh, his KO Punch for a recovery there. Yeah. Um, it's actually a really good recovery tool. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people like to save it for, for the attack, but honestly, if you're flying off the stage and you're going to die anyways, use it. Wow, and that movement right there was really nice from Nev. I don't know if that was intentional or not. It looks like he tried to run off, uh, teleport into the ledge of the stage, and then, oh my goodness, Ooh. tried to get the ledge trump, but catch, caught Atlas, excuse me, with that up smash that he used this uh, monkey foot, but wow, he just spiked Skillager just to the abyss, man. Nev said, man, we're down, but we are far from out, man. Do not KO count us out yet. Up. Let's see if we can get a kill off of it. One KO punch could literally turn the whole course this match around, but unfortunately, whiffs it. So close to Atlas there. That is a dead quaz. Wow. Most unfortunate. This is still a winnable game. This by, is no, by no means is this impossible. It's very doable. But the team synergy, just the, the team chemistry oh, right yeah. now from Atlas and Skillager, is, it's, it's on another level. As you see, right, they, they combo so very the well into each other. Up, the next turn up is going to be the three turn up. Mm -hmm. So if they go for that dunk setup like they were just trying, it will dunk this time. That it will. Ball. Okay, very nice. Stalling out the grab, man. Getting some of that invincibility. Yeah, used the throw armor on the back throw to keep him safe. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, gets the dare, and Ooh. that's going to take him out. How wonderful. Wow, it was that a good was... match, though. It was a good match. That it was. I mean, the... The match results say 3-0, but watching the matches, it was much closer. Last hit, last stock every time, man. I don't oh, think yeah. any of the teams had more than two stocks as they um, as they ran away with victory. So mm -hmm. came down to the nitty-gritty, but unfortunately, it just looked like Mac kind of was the, the thorn mm -hmm. in Nev's side in terms of teaming. And Yeah, with with two people as able to juggle and wall him out mm -hmm. as uh, Villager and Diddy, yeah. uh, Mac just uh, didn't have enough uh, time to get in there and get what he needed done done. So. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I'll be right back in a second. <laughs>